Cordell here with 911 Rapid Response. Today I'm going to be showing off an unmarked F-250 that we've recently completed for a department. As we walk around this truck, you're going to notice a lot of customization that we've done here at Rapid Response. And this is because this is for a fire marshal who is also a canine officer. So it's, it's a red-blue configuration. And up front, we're going to see a lot of Phoenix products. We have the Cobra 400 light stick on the top section of the grill with a nice blacked out coating on the front of it so that when the lights are off, you're not really drawing attention to your vehicle. On the bottom, we have the Cobra 600 light stick and that actually is going to have takedowns in the far ends of it. And as we walk around the side here, for intersection warning, intersection warning we have Canon 120 red blues in the headlights and then also on the side of the front bumper here. As we kind of pan up the truck, you're going to notice that it has an Apollo dual color interior visor bar. And what that is going to enable the customer to do is have a full white front flood functionality out of this light bar. Underneath it, we have a preemptor mounted with a custom shroud to keep it out of the way. No flashback with this style of mount. As we continue back the vehicle here, for more side warning, we have the Phoenix Apollo Series rocker panel lighting, which provides not only side warning, but also the two white modules can turn steady for that little bit of side lighting. I'll open up the back of the vehicle here, and you can see that this is a canine cage on the other side, and this side, instead of having a prisoner area, it's been modified at rapid response to give the driver of the vehicle storage for all of his equipment because he does not need to haul a prisoner. As we continue back the truck here for more side warning, we have cannons mounted on the cap. The unique thing about these cannons is this is a blue-white and that is a red-white. Right now we have them flashing red and blue, so you get that red-blue color together. However, there's a button inside that enables these to go steady white for when the fire marshal is conducting an investigation on scene, he has ambient lighting around his vehicle. As we come to the back of the vehicle here, you're going to notice some Cobra T6 lights and also Canon 120s again in the reverse lights. This provides a nice overall warning package with no lights being too bulky that interferes with the operation of the cap unit. And as I open the cap, something else you're going to see unique is a custom designed extendo bed unit. We actually sat down with the customer they made a rough draft of what they were looking for and what they needed to accomplish. And then with Extendo Bed, Rapid Response made this custom pull-out unit. This unit is complete with a small filing cabinet here to store paperwork. It is equipped with a writing table that is not only a whiteboard, but also you can sit here with a clipboard and uh, someone you may be interviewing and talk with them. There's a flammable liquids cabinet right on board for if the fire marshal has to take anything with him for his investigations. And as we go around to the other side, you're going to see we have a long compartment so they can store items like shovels, fire rakes, or other various tools they may need to carry with them. The front of this unit was designed so they can store an SCBA on one side and their turnout gear on the other side, allowing them quick, easy access in the event that he would need it. As we come around this side of the vehicle, it's going to mirror the lighting package on the other side. However, we also have a quick set of flashlight chargers in here for them, so they always have light wherever they go. It's always charging when the vehicle's running. Uh, as you look inside this compartment, you're going to see we have 110 volt outlets. This truck is equipped with an inverter for 110 volts. It's equipped with a Kuzma auto eject auto charger here for plugging in at the station for shoreline power. It's something that's going to be difficult to see on the video. 
but on the roof of the cap of this vehicle, we actually have a solar panel that is capable of putting out 30 amps to regenerate the battery on this vehicle. So this vehicle can actually sit with the engine off on a scene on a sunny day and run all the accessories just off the solar panel. Just a nice little unique feature we like to do here at 911 Rapid Response. On the side of this, you saw the other side, which was a storage compartment. Now on this side, we actually have the canine area. This is a nice unit. It's equipped with a fan and also a heat alarm system so that the officer can keep an eye on his canine while he's out of the vehicle. Now we're on the inside of the vehicle and you're going to notice as I go through this, there's a lot of equipment here and we've done our best to keep everything nice and organized in this Havis console for the customer. Starting at the front, we have an Ace Canine Heat Alarm Pro which allows the officer to monitor his canine while he may be exterior of the vehicle working a scene while the canine is still in the vehicle. We have the customer supplied radio. We have a Phoenix 4200 smart control system. This control system is computer programmable to allow any configuration of controls the customer would like. And another unique feature here is we have built-in USB charging and this bar here monitors their battery level when it's plugged into a shoreline. As we pan back the console you're going to notice a map pocket which is ideal for storing files or other items that you might not want to have in the back of the truck's file cabinet. We have a lock box for firearm storage, a portable radio charger, an actual Knox box mounted up here on the canine cage. As we pan back to the front, you're going to notice a GTAC F110 tablet with a TG3 rugged keyboard on a movable motion device that allows complete control over where you position your items. The F110 tablet is on a swing out dash mount, which allows the customer complete access to their radio controls. And we were we've incorporated the backup camera into the mirror so that the tablet is not in the way of the in-dash backup camera screen. We had spoke about the solar panel mounted on the cap, but now that we're looking at the interior accessories, you can see the control panel for the solar system. This control panel is intelligent and controls itself with no need for operator intervention. It has a float charge system, which will automatically detect when your battery needs the power from the solar panel, and it will automatically detect when to turn off as to not overcharge your vehicle. And you can monitor at all times the output of your solar panel and the voltage of your battery. Right now the truck is at 14.3 volts and on this rainy Pennsylvania day we have 0.9 amps regenerating into the battery and the sun is actually not even out currently.